previously on the most overpowered BF5 strategy. You put up a picture of the landscape and splash, have you seen this man on it? You know, act like it's Where's Wally or Waldo depending on where you're from in the world, because have you seen this man? Are you looking for him? If you've not found him, he's here. Yep, this was in one of my previous videos. Lying down is literally the ultimate strategy and it's starting to become really maddening to me. So where are we at now with this issue after a visibility patch? Well, let's talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today we're talking about the visibility changes and how they affect the game at large, plus whether they affect the prone meta and it still being the most overpowered strategy in the game, or not, depending on your opinion. Now, we're calling it overpowered, and yes, that does seem like a buzzword, a bit clickbaity, but to explain, I used that before for somewhat of a jokey video where I just called the video the most overpowered strategy in BF5. And whether you think going prone is overpowered or not, and whether you think that's okay or not, is up for debate. But what can't be debated is that the developers clearly heard from the majority of the community that they weren't happy with the visibility and how it allowed some people to play. Thus, we got a recent visibility change. And it's been a few days since that came in and I said I'd give my thoughts on it, and that's the idea today. I haven't rushed into doing this, I've left it for those few days, mulled it over, played some games, and I've come to my conclusion. Of course, you can disagree with my conclusion if you so wish, that's perfectly fine, everybody plays the game differently and enjoys different things about it. So what's actually different about the visibility? Well from what I can pick up from the feedback from the developers and just playing the game in my own experience, enemies are now brighter, somewhat brighter than teammates and this in turn should make them easier to spot and they'll stand out more to you. That's pretty basic and obvious but it seems like a decent fix if it works. And so far, I have noticed that I am spotting people running around, possibly more so than before, but to be honest, it wasn't the running around that was the issue. It was the people being stationary and lying prone, which we'll get to. But I can also add here, specifically for people lying prone, that I did read that DICE have fixed, they say fixed an issue, with the brightness or their visibility or whatever you want to call it, not being properly applied when they go prone. Now I don't know if that's true or not, if that's an excuse or otherwise, whether it was a bug, whether it just wasn't well programmed, an accident, whatever. But people do seem to be somewhat brighter on the ground from what I can tell, which is definitely a good thing, unless you like to lie down and stay hidden. Personally, I don't like the gameplay loop that that provides. Provides. I think it's very passive, very slow, and can be very frustrating, as people can't see what's around them, they're straining their eyes for people lying down around the map, etc. And before anyone gets really annoyed about me bashing going prone, that's not the idea of this. I'll come later on to the benefits of it and how I actually feel about going prone and why it is important, but realistically, most people felt that lying prone and being basically unseen was a bad thing. And I'm behind that, I totally understand what people are saying. So overall, I find it is easier to see people in certain circumstances and any improvement is of course a welcome change. Those circumstances being moving around the map, standing in the open, sometimes sitting stationary in some places, and sometimes people lying prone in certain areas. And yes, I'm making that quite vague, and that's because it's not a coverall fix. I don't think it fixes everything, and maybe you don't want it to fix everything. Maybe you don't think fix is the right term. Perhaps lying prone does still need to be viable. In fact, of course it does. But it depends how viable and how powerful. And of course, this is then up to interpretation. So today really is my opinion, please keep that in mind. So while the visibility changes do help in certain ways, it doesn't alter the overriding feeling for me and my friends that I play with, and a lot of the community that I've seen giving feedback on the issue, that Battlefield 5 is just a game where it can be hard to see people. That just seems to be the default setting basically. It is fairly difficult to pick people out a lot of the time, either by design or by accident, I'm not sure. Keep in mind that the maps are very large, there isn't traditional spotting anymore, etc, and this doesn't seem like much of a surprise. But whether that's okay or not is a different issue. Personally, I don't like not being able to see people a lot of the time, whereas others see Battlefield as a tactical shooter. I don't really subscribe to that, I don't think Battlefield is a particularly tactical shooter compared to other ones you can play, although it's more tactical than say Call of Duty etc, it's still kind of arcadey in my opinion. So it seems like a bit of an awkward mix. And this means that yes, lying prone is still very powerful. Obviously lying down should make you harder to see, and it does. But how hard should it make it to see you? Now sometimes when people lie out in the open with the improved brightness and visibility, they're much more obvious. But more obvious doesn't necessarily mean obvious. And sometimes people are lying down in places where you feel like they should be obvious, and they aren't. 
There are still times where, say on Twisted Steel, people are lying down in the grass. Not the bushes, etc, just in the grass, and they can be really, really hard to see. In fact, a lot of the time while I was playing, I was still relying on seeing the muzzle flash of people shooting before I noticed where they were. Now again, some people will tell you that's how it's supposed to be, because that's what war is like, etc. And others, like me, will say, it's a game, it's not realistic, and this can create a bad gameplay loop. And so this was where I decided to flip things around eventually while I was playing. Rather than just running around trying to spot enemies in different circumstances and see how I felt about it, I decided to start lying down, going prone, and seeing how hard it was for the enemy to notice me. And honestly, a lot of the time, it seemed extremely powerful still. I might not have been near invisible, but I certainly wasn't seen easily at all. And sometimes I was lying down in pretty obvious places to be completely honest with you. So maybe this is just something that DICE aren't going to be able to fix, or in fact don't want to entirely fix. Maybe this is the final balance that they want, but it comes down to the community and how they feel about it as a whole. Of course, not everyone is going to agree, but we can come to a general kind of consensus. I personally feel that lying down in a tactical position is good if you can't be seen, but lying down somewhere that is basically just in the open and in real life you think you would see them and you can't, that causes a problem. Because you can't have it both ways. You can't scream for realism and then have it also be completely unrealistic as if everyone's running around with eyes full of cataracts. Personally, I don't want to be straining my eyes all the time. Personally, I don't want to run at an objective and get shot from five different places from people lying down. Because if you want to talk about realism, people don't charge around the map trying to take objectives in real life. But in this game, you have to. And that's where the problem lies, because people can take advantage of that. It also isn't like 32 aside or 16 aside or whatever it is, you know, in real war. So there are definitely problems in place with arguing about it being realistic. If you're playing front lines and it's only 16 aside and there's five people on each team camping out at the edge of the map lying down, you can see how it alters the actual flow of the game to a large degree. I still find that people lying down near rocks, etc, especially on the snowy maps, can be extremely difficult to pick out. I'm not saying whether that's good or bad or not, I'm just saying that seems to be the case. Now going prone does need to provide a tactical advantage, as I alluded to earlier. And so I'm happy it still does, and honestly if it remained like this for the rest of the game, I'd probably be at least reasonably satisfied, because it's better than it was before, and anything that's better than that is definitely a good thing. Would I like to see it tweaked a bit more, specifically for people lying down near rocks etc? Yes, I, I would. Perhaps this wouldn't be an alteration to the enemy models themselves, but more to the environment, and how much it camouflages you against it. But to reiterate, if it remains like this, I could deal with it. It did have my friends laughing how hard it was to see people sometimes still, but I can manage. Now, some people will call for spotting to come back in its traditional form, which is never going to happen in my opinion in this game. I don't see DICE backtracking to that extent, but it would obviously come completely alter the game, and this issue would essentially disappear, but it brings with it its own problems as well. Having spotting completely changes how the game plays. Now if you want to know how I feel, I liked spotting in BF1, I really did, I thought it was an integral part of the game and I enjoyed it as a mechanic. But I also am now used to it not being in BF5 and I quite like it not being in this game. It makes it play differently, it provides different opportunities, and I like the playstyle it allows me to use, with heavy use of flanking etc. Perhaps a modified in-between version of the spotting system could be good, but I don't want to speculate on what that would be right now, I don't want to start that whole issue, I'm just saying that spotting would change the problems we have, but bring with it new ones, and it would kind of just flip the issue, because some people despise spotting whereas others like it. And so overall, what do I think of the visibility change, and is prone still the most overpowered strategy in the game? Well my opinion hasn't altered on how prevalent I think going prone is going to be, and I also think it's going to be right up there with the top tier strategies if you want to call it that still, it's going to be effective, and it should be. So yes, I still think it's going to be powerful. Powerful. and if we leave the buzzwords and clickbait behind, I don't necessarily consider it to be overpowered. Is it still going to be annoying to play against? Yes. Is it going to be easier to combat? Yes. Does this give us a nice middle ground now? Kind of. Depending on who you are, I still think it's not great, but it's better and I can be satisfied with it. And the visibility as a whole? Very similar. I like that it's better, I can deal with it like this, I'd like more done, but for me it's satisfactory. Certainly better than it was before, and infinitely better than how it was in the beta. And so I pass it on to you. What do you think of the visibility changes? What do you think of the prone meta? What do you think the most overpowered strategy is in the game? All this stuff about everything I've talked about today, I need your feedback. Everyone get down there, read what other people have said, have polite discussion, let's see what consensus we can come to about going prone and the visibility and everything that applies to it. Have DICE done a good job? Would you like to see more done? And how do you now feel about Battlefield 5 as a whole? Is it in a better spot than before? Please let me
let me know in the comments below. And with that, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe, turn on notifications and join my Discord server in the description and my pinned comment. Here's the board of awesome for the epic people who support the channel on Patreon. They're all absolute heroes and I love them all deeply and of course often. If you want to join them on the board of awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy and I will see you next time. Later. Yeah.